We got him. Trump admin arrests most evil man alive. The latest arrest by the Trump Justice Department reveals the dangers of sanctuary cities. U.S. law enforcement officials have arrested Juan Rafael El Cubano Arredondo Oviedo, an enforcer for the brutal Los Zetas Mexican cartel in Chicago, Illinois. Juan Rafael was extradited to Mexico, where he has been charged with 28 counts of kidnapping. Juan Rafael was wanted for his role in a series of massacres between 2011 and 2013 that resulted in the deaths of over 300 people. The Daily Wire reports. Arredondo Oviedo escaped Mexican police and was found hiding out in Chicago, which is officially recognized as a sanctuary city. Federal police arrested Juan Rafael at an immigration court in Chicago. U.S. authorities transferred Arredondo Oviedo to the Mexican city of Nuevo Laredo, just north of the border. He is being held in a state prison where he awaits trial. The Mexican government is still asking the American government to locate, capture, and extradite Bertha Rosario Chayotel as in Ricardo L. Richard Diaz Miranda, who are also facing kidnapping charges for their role in the Coahuila massacre. According to Mexican authorities, Arredondo Oviedo was one of a series of foot soldiers that participated in the Coahuila massacre. Between 2011 and 2013, the Los Zetas cartel had almost complete control over the Coahuila state government. The gang used their control to exact revenge on gang members accused of betraying the criminal organization. Arredondo Oviedo, along with other enforcers, was charged with rounding up anyone connected to supposed traitors Villanueva and Garza Gaten. All family members, friends, relatives, and even innocent civilians who happened to share a last name, were rounded up and tortured in a variety of inhumane ways. After torturing and executing their victims, Los Zetas would transfer the bodies to local cartel ranches or state prisons for disposal. The bodies brought to the ranches were incinerated in brick ovens, while the bodies brought to the state prisons were submerged in barrels of oil and set ablaze. The ashes were dumped into a nearby creek that feeds into the Rio Grande, leaving their victims' families without answers. Los Zetas was founded in 1999 by a group of 34 former Mexican special forces. The soldiers acted as enforcers for local cartels until they opted to create their own criminal syndicate. Los Zetas are not as powerful as their rivals, the leading Sinaloa Mexican cartel founded by Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, however, the United States government says the Los Zetas are unmatched in their brutality. According to United States government reports, Los Zetas is the most technologically advanced, sophisticated, and dangerous cartel operating in Mexico. They use their sophistication to exert control over local governments. Other members of the Los Zetas cartel being held in American prisons are known for their extreme brutality. One Los Zetas leader is serving seven consecutive life sentences in a Texas prison after he chopped up a living six-year-old girl in front of her family to send a message. Another leader, now deceased, was known for eating the flesh of his victims. The arrest and extradition of Arredondo Oviedo is a significant step in making America a safer place to live. It is also evidence that President Trump and his administration are serious about being a law and order administration.